all right art nerds so i'm going to show you how to use this stratus 3d sculpt virtual sculpting software program whatever it's called i'm not that much of a techie nerd but i am an art nerd and i found this and i thought it was dope so i thought i'd share with you sculpture peoples anyways so what this is is right here we have a 3d um sculpture material um kind of like clay, marble, whatever you want to call it, but we are able to manipulate this virtual material here. And we can also manipulate what kind of starting form we have. So this area right here, this black space we have is known as the scene. Um, I can clear the scene and start fresh if I'm like, oh, this is trash. I want to, you know, get rid of it. Um, I can uh, save whatever I make um, later on. I can undo things if I make a mistake. I can fill the background with a color. I can, there's a lot of other things that I have not quite experimented with yet, but I have experimented with some of the basics and those are what I will share with you since I stumbled upon this and thought it is worth sharing. Um, so if I didn't feel like starting with a sphere, I could start with a cube or I could start with, let's clear the scene again. I could start with a, a cylinder. That'd be dope. Or I could start with a torus which is kind of like a, a donut. Very nice. Very nice. Or I could start with a, a cylinder and a donut both together. Very nice. Like a person wearing a little inner tube. Anyways, or I'll just start with, I'll start with cube. That sounds nice. Um, if I grab on with my cursor in this black area, I'm able to manipulate my perspective, how I am looking upon this as well as looking underneath woohoo, through the floor can't do that in real life. Anyways, so um, I want to also show you guys some of this, the sculptor and sculpture and painting kind of setting type things right here. Um, this is your brush tool. You can brush, inflate, twist. So these are the different ways that you can manipulate, um, including painting. Um, and you can change uh, the color and that kind of stuff that you're working with. Uh, so that'll be towards the end, but I'm going to work a little bit more with the um, the sculpting parts uh radius that refers to how big or how small notice how my orange little circle is getting bigger and smaller to the left here uh, and that's how big my tool is intensity is whether i am gently tapping my clay right here or i am punching it okay um notice how whatever i'm doing on this side is doing the same thing on this side over here Okay, that's because it also has this symmetry thing uh, written down. And I don't want that. I want to do it however I want. So I'm up in the radius. I put intensity all the way up and let's just punch this thing. Boom, boom. Okay, I like took away like half my sculpture, but that's okay. I'm a little aggressive as of this moment with this tool. I thought it was really fun. Well, let's just smooth this out a little bit. Let's bring down the intensity. Let's just smooth this out. Let's make this real nice. Let's smooth it out. Oh, it's not smooth as much as I want. It's not as intense as I want. Okay, let's up that up a little bit. Let's smooth this out. Make it better. Make it better. Okay, this is not what I want. Okay, try something different. Let's try, ooh, twist looks interesting. What does this do? Ooh, twisty. Nice, nice. What about vice pinch? Hi. What do you do, vice pinch? Okay, if you figure out what vice pinch does, tell me. Okay. How about, ooh, drag. How about, ooh, you guys should try this. A lot easier than trying to make appendages in clay. Those things snap off easy. This won't break. I bet if I make this smaller, I can make little spindly things. Like if it was like a, like a cactus. Ooh, guys, it's like spikes. Anyways, this, okay. It's, ooh, uh, undo, undo, undo. History, undo. I didn't like that one. Okay. This is cool. Oh, I don't like that one either. Okay. I wonder what it looks like if I go over here and I look from this way. Oh, it doesn't look as cool. So remember, you're doing a three-dimensional thing. So you want to make sure it looks cool from all angles, not just one angle. This is super dope. Okay. You guys should definitely try this because this, this is fun. Okay. And I bet if we got into painting, tool, painting, paint, 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 
Let's try. Ooh, ooh, shiny. Whoa, look at this, guys. This is dope. Okay, what about this? Ooh, okay, guys. Um, so instead of making you guys watch me play with this for forever, you should probably get on this and start playing with it yourself because this is dope and it's shiny. You can make like your own Jeff Koons inflatable shiny um, balloon dog type thing. If you don't know what it is, Google Jeff Koons balloon dog because this is like shiny and dope. Okay, definitely check it out. Anyways, 